Welcome to the Umphalos Cafe, and those are the lucid cogitations of a man tripping on mescaline. Who on earth, Huxley asks, flying as he is on hallucinogenics, do we really think we are? The notion of how much we've lost with all this learning of ours came to mind when I read that line. It's staggering, actually, when you think about it. The inheritance of the race has been laid aside, discarded, for a higher education that is repaying us with increasingly dubious returns. And when I say that, another line I jotted down some time ago springs to mind, and I suppose this might give you some idea how the train of associations rolls along at times, when you let it roll, I guess. It's by a fellow named Ellie Foray, and it goes, The school does not kill life, for it appears only during the death struggle of the races, but it acts as a break on the effort of those who would go toward life. It crushes their last struggles or compromises the first revolts that occur at the dawn of new societies. I love that, the school acting as a break on the effort of those who would go toward life, crushing their last struggles or compromising the first revolts that occur at the dawn of new societies. And damn, but that compromising the first revolts that occur at the dawn of new societies reminds me of my videos on James Joyce's Ulysses. He, more than anyone else I know, pointing a finger towards the dawning of a new society, the new humanity. But of course, you wouldn't glean any of that from how the book is taught in school, all that Homeric parallel balderdash. And then saying that, I am reminded of a film I watched the other day on Netflix called The Last Shaman. The subject of that one, a hyper-educated young man named James Freeman, and isn't that an ironic name for a young man on an archetypal death and resurrection journey, was on precisely the same voyage of rebirth that Joyce's alter ego Stephen Dedalus was undergoing in Ulysses. Anyway, how to return to the main notion I was trying to get across in this video. How about with the aid of yet another quote by Krishnamurti in his book You Are the World, and what, by the way, a title that is. His quote goes, Learning is not the accumulation of knowledge, Learning is a movement from moment to moment. Wow, a movement from moment to moment. Who knew? But what I was going to say, before the associations started piling up, that is, was that these days our attentions have been hijacked by the massively intelligent contingent among us. They have gravitated to those pursuits and roles which pay the most, bring the greatest status and material benefit, to themselves, of course. We've lost the narrative of life the overarching wonder and magic of the journey, that which lends meaning and abundance to our everyday existence. The end. And saying that, I am immediately reminded of Jim Morrison and the 60s psychedelic band The Doors, which derived their name from the above-quoted Aldous Huxley book, The Doors of Perception, which in turn derived its title from, I believe, a William Blake poem which went something to the effect that if we could but cleanse the doors of perception adequately, then all would be seen as it actually is, infinite. And again, the associations. You see how things of this sort are beautifully, wondrously connected. But I was talking about the end, although an actual end is in all likelihood not in store, more like a catastrophic systemic collapse. Anyway, that end will be brought about not by the dumb and uneducated, but by the hyper-educated, the heartless, misguided, super-intelligent. They alone wield the levers of power, operate the steering wheel of possible change, so to speak. And why should things change, really, when you think about it, when things as they are serve their purposes to a T, for the time being at any rate? Anyway, that's why I imagine this place the sanctuary that the Omphalos Cafe strives to be, as a sort of seed pod of the new awareness waiting to burst forth, waiting for its day in the sun. So if you're looking for or desperately crave hard facts or evidence, you've come to the wrong place. But if it's something else, something undefinable, vague and airy seeming, but rich with soul nutrients, if only crazy associations which ultimately throw you back on your own resources, well, maybe, just maybe, you've stumbled upon the right place. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time at the Omphalos Cafe. Bye for now.